over the next five years and to add EV charging infrastructure for our customers. And we are working hard toward electrifying every school bus in our Virginia electric service area. This summer, we expect to install two offshore wind turbines, a precursor to a project that will be the largest in North America and eventually generate enough electricity to serve more than 650,000 homes. We just brought online new solar farms in Virginia and the Carolinas. And we are working with partners in several states to capture methane emitted from hog and dairy farms. The LNG facilities we acquired in Alabama and Florida, I mentioned a few minutes ago, will enable us to help the maritime industry reduce its greenhouse gas emissions. Jack's LNG is the only marine LNG fueling terminal on the East Coast. The terminal supplies lower carbon LNG to large ships, resulting in less pollution at our ports and on the open ocean. And we are working with our Cove Point shippers to provide LNG from the Chesapeake Bay Terminal to constrained markets in the United States that are still burning oil to eat their homes and generate power at times of peak. There are scores and scores and scores of people working across the company to drive the change needed to reach net zero emissions by 2050. But let me be clear about one thing, just in case there is any doubt. While we are moving away from coal over time, natural gas is and will continue to be absolutely essential to delivering on our core value for customers and essential if we want to achieve our goal of net zero without actually increasing our carbon footprint along the way. And I believe that the coronavirus pandemic has proved beyond any doubt the necessity of natural gas in providing reliable electricity to the segments of society that need it most right now. Natural gas is a low cost source of power for many of our customers. Without gas and without continued development of gas infrastructure, our job gets harder, not easier, to deliver on our promise of energy reliability. Nor can we help other sectors of the economy, such as manufacturing, agriculture, and transportation, make progress without getting them to switch from, to gas from higher carbon fuel sources. Natural gas will be part of our net zero future. As a result, we must continue to focus on redoing, reducing methane emissions, increasing feedstock for renewable natural gas and other biofuels, and supporting new technologies like green hydrogen. We can and will address climate change across our economy. It will take decades, billions and billions of dollars, and patience. It will take public support and it will entail sacrifice. But we can, and we will get there. The world around us is changing fast. Dominion Energy is changing fast too, not just to keep up with, what's, with what is happening in the world, but to get ahead of it and stay ahead of it, and ultimately to shape it. Dominion will have a role to play on driving change while providing safe, reliable, and affordable service and protecting the environment. As a company, we can react to the change or we can embrace it and guide it, lead it. At Dominion Energy, we choose the latter. In March, we turned our company on its head and asked things of our employees we have never asked of them before. They put their heads down while minding their families and neighbors, and they have gotten the job done. We should not take their work for granted. All right, we will now move to the general question.